Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. We bring you exciting information about your favorite actors and actresses. The statues, Binta Ayomogaji, who is probably called Igbala Dogi, has been entertaining millions of Nigerians right from her childhood days. And in fact, she will be 60 years old next year. She's currently 59 years old. And many Nigerians Many of our fans, home and abroad, are interested in knowing about her personal life. A lot of sites mention the name of the actor Jibola Dabo as her husband. Jibola Dabo is also an actor. In fact, he's one of the favorite movie stars that used to shuttle between English and Yoga movies for several years. He's also an actor, producer, director, TV personality, entrepreneur, and philanthropist and together they share a son. The interesting part of this is that Binta Ayomogaji got a son when she was born into her forties, close to 50 years old. This was why she gave the boy a lovely name, Ademi Dema Crown has arrived. For several years, this actress has come out to say that she was not married to Jibola Dabo. And Jibola also in a recent interview also mentioned that they were only boyfriend and girlfriend and they were not married at the time. In fact, top sites list Jibola Dabo as a husband. You will see him married to Jibola Dabo. And the actress in one of the interviews with Telegraph said that she was not married to the actor, even though there were rumors then that the pair married, but their union did not work out, according to those sources. And she had this to say, Jibola was really my boyfriend. Though we had a baby together before I got married. We never got married to each other. I'm married to a British psychotherapist named Dr. Victor Ayodili Uduleye. This is what she mentioned in that interview. Her husband is not an actor. He's a British-born Nigerian psychotherapist. He lives in England. But they met when he was in Nigeria, when his father sent him home to study the upper six class because he had wanted him to know about the Nigerian culture. He played football and Binta loved watching football. So they met along the line and got married officially close to two decades now. Over the years, we've heard of news of women converting to different religion when they get married to someone. Well, in the case of this actress, it was opposite. Her husband, Dr. Ayo Uduleye, converted from Christian religion to Islamic religion. This is like one of a kind. We rarely hear about such news. It's mostly the women converting to the men's religion. It is true that the veteran rarely shares anything on social media platforms that has to do with her personal life. But for some couple of years now, she has been sharing once in a while about her son. His name is Ademide, as earlier mentioned. And in fact, she had shared news about his convocation. He's now at the university. And he officially became an adult not quite long ago. So, this the actress son and only child biologically is now an adult. A lot of women would have given up and not even tried to give birth at the age that she had given birth. She mentioned that that was the time I made to becoming grandparents. So when she was pregnant, she was flaunting that pregnancy everywhere to everyone who cares and even decided rather to give birth to that child in Nigeria so that people would not say that she went abroad to go and buy a child. This actress' life is full of outstanding events. First, she got married at that age when she was well into her 40s or close to 50s, also had a child when she was also at that age. And her husband converted from a religion to another religion. There are still very interesting facts about this the actress that many of our fans would love to know. Please stay with us. Interestingly, this actress grew up in a staunch Islamic home. And so many people are surprised to know that such person from such background actually delved into acting. 
and she was asked how this became and she said she had a brother there called BC who was into acting but now the man lives in the USA. As a child she was quite inquisitive. She knew a lot of things without anyone teaching her, just like her father. Her brother acted in a program called Rivalry alongside Akin Louise, Henry Fulusho, Victoria Woodruny, amongst other actors and actresses. At the time, they needed a kid actor for one of the episodes and that was where her acting career started. Before then, she had been acting in school. When she completed her secondary school education, she continued acting in minor roles on television. Even though she has been in this movie industry for quite some time now, apart from when she was a kid, she has strict rules about the kind of role she plays. And she had said in an interview that no director, no producer can near her with any and she had said in interviews that no producer can near her with any house scripts. To this day, she has never kissed or acted a minute. And in fact, she has stated clearly that you will never see her kissing in a film or play a nude role. And in her words, I will not play nude in any film. There are some roles I cannot play. I can understand if I have to tie a wrapper up above the breast level, as our mothers used to be in the village in those days. That is the highest level of nudity I can go in a film. They don't give me roles like kissing or acting nude, not even when I was younger. This is what she said in that interview. So she has strict rules, even though she's one of the most sorted after actresses. For decades now, she has been on top of her game. But she has strict rules. And yes, she's a Muslim. She started with stage plays, as Ella mentioned. And she has done over 300 stage plays. In fact, there were stage plays where she played the lead role. In 1998, when the University of Ibadan was celebrating its 50th anniversary, there was a convocation play called Tegoni, written by Professor Femi Oshofiso. She was in that play. She, she acted in several plays written by Professor Wale Shoyinka, Olaru Timi, amongst others. She acted in several plays written by Professor Wale Shoyinka, Olaru Timi, amongst many other literary greats. She did a lot of stage plays for a theater group in Lagos. This that actress has featured in several movies, including Casanova, Akobi Gumina. She's indeed one of a kind. And we have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and listen to new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.